This was the position of the Speaker Femi Bachapiamila following a motion on the matters of urgent national importance moved by the Chairman House Committee on Basic Education, Professor Julius in Onfbere at Plenary. The lawmaker stated that our Supra-President had recently threatened to call out as members across the nation if all issues, including those of unpaid academically earned allowances and the university's revitalization fund, are not addressed within a period of three weeks. He observed that the future of Nigerian students once again will be negatively impacted if the impending strike is not nipped in the bud by the federal government. According to him, incessant strike disrupt the academic calendar and contribute significantly to the poor quality of graduates in the country with far-reaching implications for national development. Professor Julius noted the strikes encourages brain drain, migration of students abroad and low world ranking of the nation's academic institutions. The money is there to pay earned allowances that is in the central bank. What is holding it between the federal government and the central bank, I do not know. So all I'm asking, dear colleagues, is let us beg the federal government to live up to expectation and implement an agreement in signed without duress. Simple. If they disrupt these universities again, the implications will be very far-reaching. And we can continue like this. This is the, about the tenth strike from us. And you can blame us. A worker can only use the implement he has that he knows that the boss will listen to him. Just like your driver can decide to stay out of work and see you drive to work if you don't know how to drive. So we are pleading, live up to the agreement, period. If we allow these people to go on strike again, do you know how much and how many souls that will be affected? It's affecting everybody. It's affecting everything that concerns us as a nation. And so, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, I have to plead with you to use your good office as you've been doing since uh, night and since to call these people to order, to intervene. This is not the issue of I am right or I am wrong. Even the Bible says that it is wrong for you to make a vow and not keep to it. It's better that you don't. For the fact that they have agreed and they came with this agreement, those agreements should be simply followed to the letter. Now we should question ourselves. Our self, I will do the needful. And if I do the needful, the federal government should provide that money in the next one month. Because the issue that COVID-19 put back our children at home without doing anything. Now, we also want to use our hands to make them sit down at home without doing anything. The question is, Mr. Speaker, will you preside over a generation fund? that will graduate and yet not make meaningful impact to the economy of your country. The only news is on you today, sir, because you are the leader of the Night House of Prep. You are leading me anywhere you say I should go, I'll follow you. To deploy enough funding to the tertiary institutions with a view to remedy the situation. And luckily enough, we are in the process of passing the budget. Why shouldn't we take the bull by the horn, having regard to the problem, and then deploy enough resources, taking advantage of the present uh, budget that is before us, to deploy enough resources to the tertiary institution with the view to remedy the situation? Because the budget as it is presented now is not sacrosanct. The Minister of Education and the representative of ASU to meet in my office on Thursday, uh, meet me in my office on Thursday at 2 p.m. Finance, ASU, and uh, Minister of Education, so that we fast track, fast track this uh, this matter. Those in favor, please say aye. Those against, please say nay. Ayes have it. Adopting the motion. The House urged the federal government to urgently take all necessary measures to open a realistic negotiation with ASU to stop the strike and implement the signed agreement in the interest of students, parents, the education sector and the country.